Dr. Johnson, this is so cool to go behind the scenes to your offices where all these procedures take place and show our GMT viewers exactly what's going on when they come in for these great medical procedures. Today is one of my favorite topics and the least favorite topic as well because so many people ask me about cellulite treatments. So let's start with defining it. What is cellulite? Well, cellulite is that mattress-like or some people call it an orange peel appearance. Mm -hmm that many women and occasional men get on their legs predominantly. Uh, you can see it occasionally on abdomens and arms, but for the most part it's a problem of the back and front of the thighs. Okay, and cellulite is non-discriminatory. I mean, thin girls, fit girls, overweight girls, every type of woman has some type of cellulite. That's exactly right. It doesn't matter. The most studies show at least 80% of women have cellulite. And it doesn't matter if you're overweight, doesn't matter if you're skinny. What really matters is if mom or grandmom had it. Mm, so we can thank our parents. It's one of those, <laughs> it's one of those genetic things. Okay. And it does tend to get a little worse with the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And it does tend to get a little worse as women get into their late 20s, 30s, and 40s. Okay. Uh, it actually can fade a bit by the late 40s and 50s. It actually can get a little better after men, women go through menopause. Oh, well there is something good about getting older there. So, so there's one. Yay, there's, there's one win for us women. Okay, what are these pillows demonstrating? Well, we've got a real good example that we can show to kind of demonstrate with these pillows what's okay. happening with cellulite. Okay. So if we look at this pillow, we think of the filling that's inside as our fat. Okay. And then the cover of the skin. This is what we all want to look like. Yeah. Nice and smooth and silky looking. I don't even mind if my skin is gray. If I could look like this pillow, awesome. So that's this is the ideal. Okay. And, and unfortunately, this is all too often what we see. We've got the deep dimples and we also have the kind of folds or creases that go along with it. Right. So, if we're really going to come up with a treatment, we have to understand what's going on. Okay. And these pillows we can really use to demonstrate the two most important things that are happening when we have cellulite. Okay. The first is, if we think of this as the lower part of our skin, the fat is erupting from below up into our lower skin. That's what causes the bulgy areas that can get shiny yeah. and feel real firm and, and, and swollen. Okay. That's this fat erupting into the lower skin. Okay. Then the dimples are caused predominantly just like these tufts are yeah. by connective tissue that down below is tying it down to, towards the muscle. So that in order to address cellulite, we really have to address the fact that the fat is erupting through mm -hmm. into the lower skin and we have to get rid of the little tufts, the little connected tissue pillars yeah. that are tying it down. Okay, so this is really cute on a pillow, not so cute on the derriere. So that's where you come in, so Dr. That's, Jay. that's where we come in. So we talk about how do we do that. Right. Well, as you can see on this pillow, we've got a patch. Okay, so we've patched it where it's extruded through and we've also got one tuft that we've cut okay. and it starts to smooth out. So how do we patch <laughs> and how do we cut mm -hmm. in the body? And what we've come up with is a system that we refer to as CATS for our cellulite analysis and treatment system. Okay. Because here's the thing about cellulite. There's no one treatment that works on everyone. Okay. okay? And there's no one treatment that works every time. Okay. So we have come up with a system that allows us to look at you and say, based on your cellulite, we've got some pretty good ideas of what you need to start with and then put you through the treatment program so that we can come up with the best results and hopefully the least amount of treatments. Okay, so it's really individualized. Not all cellulite is created equal. Is some cellulite easier to treat than others? They're more different to treat than okay. others okay. and it is easier to treat than others because we tend to divide cellulite into two different types. We divide it into what we call classic cellulite, mm -hmm. which has the dimples and the bulges and looks kind of like this pillow. Right. And we have another type of cellulite that, call, that we call linear cellulite which we can kind of show it because it looks like a piece of paper that you've accordioned. 
and instead of being the real dimples, it looks more like wavy lines. Okay. You see this a lot on the front of a lot of women's thighs. Okay. Okay. And that's so linear cellulite? that's what we call linear cellulite. Okay. We treat that a little differently okay. than we treat the classic cellulite. So when we're treating classic cellulite, how do you get this patch? Mm -hmm. The first treatment we like to use in most patients is a treatment called smooth shapes okay. because it's been shown to help put a patch, if you would, to regrow collagen into the area where the fat is extruded up okay. and manage to push it back down. Okay. It also tends to weaken and, and, and lessen the collagen pillars that are tying everything down. Okay. So, so smooth shape has about an 80% effectiveness. There are several studies out there showing that 80% of women see improvement. Yeah, we like that number. So in women with classic cellulite, that's our favorite place to start because okay. it's inexpensive. Okay. It works most of the time. Okay. And has no downtime and it requires no prep to do it. You come in and get it done, you can go right back to work in about half an hour. Oh, we'll see. That's a, yeah. So that's kind of like a nice conservative place to start. Great conservative place to start. And most women with classic cellulite, that's all they're going to need to do. Okay. Okay. But then sometimes you need something a little more aggressive. So the next step we take is a procedure that we pioneered here in the United States called acoustic wave therapy or AWT. Right, I remember that. Yeah. And it uses basically micro impacts. What it feels like, Amy, is an intense massage. Okay. And we use those, and it has been well shown to make a nice patch, really make a strong collagen layer over where the fat is extruded and actually break up the collagen pillars that result in the tufting. Okay. So it's a great second step for classic cellulite, and that's where we typically go. Okay, and then beyond that, I remember the word thermage being thrown around for cellulite, certainly. Well, thermage is where we start okay. with most of linear patients. All right. Because most of them, uh, tight, excuse me, loose skin okay. is a real problem. Okay. Okay. And because of that, we tend to start the linear patients over on the thermage side. Okay. Once a person that's with classic cellulite has had smooth shapes and AWT, now we take a look. A lot of those will now have more of a smooth, a lot of the dimpling will be gone, mm -hmm. and now it's just more of a ripple or an unevenness. Thermage is a great third step for them if they still need it. Okay. If they still have a lot of dimples, though, those people we take on to what we call smart liposellulite. It's so also it's a version of a technique called cellulase, okay. where we actually go in with the laser, and I can demonstrate. We actually take the laser and mark, as we're going, we mark where the dimples are. So I come back with the laser. So that's the laser. So we literally come in with the laser and we cut the tuft. Ah. We physically mark it where it is. We come with the laser and actually cut the tuft to release the skin. Wow, so cool. Now, we don't recommend that, except in the very worst cases, it okay. requires surgery. Mm -hmm. It's more expensive, right. requires my time, requires their time, and mm -hmm. it has a recovery time. Okay. So this is what we reserve for those folks that are the very worst. We recently had a patient of ours that had had this part done elsewhere and was still not pleased with the results and we did the thermage on and she's thrilled. Wow. So because sometimes it's just that extra sometimes step. Sometimes it's that extra step. And if you think about it, if we stretch the skin out from the tuft and then we release the tuft, of course the skin's a little loose mm -hmm. and having that skin tightening from the thermage, thermage. Makes great sense. Makes, it really works well. Makes total sense. And obviously the before and after pictures speak volumes. Sometimes on GMT we can't show the whole area, but that's what really gets us excited when we see these men and women, mostly women, who look like us. Oh, that kind of looks like my backside in a bathing suit. This is kind of the area that I don't like to show uh, when I'm wearing shorts. When we see other women and their progress, it motivates us to want to come in and 
and it realize we realize and, that you can and, help us. And they've been seeing some before, before and afters while we've been talking, but they can go to our website and see a large catalog of before and afters okay. or come in for a consult, which will give us a chance to show them what women with legs that look like theirs mm -hmm. can expect after having treatment. Okay, well, Dr. Johnson, this has been really cool. Thanks for giving us the uh, pillow demonstration, something we can all understand. Dr. Johnson, thank you so much for this little behind-the-scenes tour. And remember, just call for that consultation. As Dr. Johnson said, not one size fits all when it comes to cellulite treatment, but there might just be something that's going to help you. So come on in and see Dr. Johnson today.